Is it really possible to survive in the Philippines on $10, 500 peso a day? Let's find out. But first, I gotta get myself a drink. All right, let's do something good. There you go. We got my bag. All right, so right now I'm walking to the bus stop. Whenever you're outside of a condo, there's gonna be some trike drivers or motorcycle riders. Uh, they're gonna try and overcharge you. Most of the time, I don't really care because it's like a couple of dollars, but today, now nah, we're doing a challenge. So, gotta save as much as possible. See, 500 peso is really doable. There's a bus right on down there. We're gonna go ahead and take that because it's significantly cheaper than taking a trike for this challenge. It would be cheaper to take a jeepney, but I honestly prefer a bus. We're down to about 400 and something pesos, but let's just leave it at 400. So about two purchases, we're down to like 420 or something like that. I'm gonna go to the skate park and skate for a bit because it's been a while, and then I'll check out what's next. This has meat I'll in there? Bring, huh? This has meat in there? Yeah. Uh, like what kind of meat? Like chicken, beef, pork? No, pork. Pork? pork? Okay, uh, I'll take one of these. One of these. And then uh, what's that? What, what's this? Uang, shrimp. I'll take one of these. Uh, that. Yeah, these shrimp things right here. I'll take yeah. one of these. What's this? That's egg. Egg? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll take one of these. Wow. Yeah. Egg me. Then uh, can I get some sauce too? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, okay. So this, these snacks I got here are about 65, so. There goes another 100. There you go. Mumbai. Thank you. All right, so we got some like shrimp thing or something. And then I guess this is a Shanghai or something with meat in there. Not sure what it's really called. And then I got some fried egg. Let's see how it tastes. All right, I'm going to try this thing out. Like some kind of meat. Like some chili inside, it's all right. Now I'm gonna try out this egg. I forgot what this thing is called, but it's like some kind of sh crispy shrimp or something like that. I guess I'll give it a try. Yo, look at the thing, it's like a shrimp patty. Yo, this place is looking kind of busy today. Uh, I warmed up a little bit, I met up with some homies, now I'm gonna film a couple tricks. Yo, oh, these look delicious. What? So I'll take 10. Yo, these look really good. Look at that. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, here's the 30 peso. There you go. Thank you. Alright, 
Now I'm gonna wait for the bus. It's gonna take a while to get here, so yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Not my bus. <laughs> Those white buses you see right there, you can travel on them for less than a dollar. You can go a really long distance on these things, and it's really cheap. Always under a dollar. That might be mine. No, oh, yeah, it's mine. Yo, I don't even think I'm gonna ride this shit. Right, that's my bus. I'm at Mock Town in town now. I'm like super hungry because I didn't eat anything, so I'm probably gonna get McDonald's or something. I think this McDonald's is gonna end the challenge here. Wow, these things are so good. Look at that pancake. The McDonald's turned out to be 255 pesos. That puts everything that I bought today at like 486 pesos. So yeah, I'm down to 14 pesos left. I messed up on the McDonald's. I was like super hungry after skating. Now I'm gonna walk to make up for all the lost cash. Got a few shops over here. Wow, there's a full market over there. Maybe I will check it out one day, but not today. Looks kind of cool actually. I might check that out one day. And with one peso to spare, I can walk home in peace. All right, I'm just about home now. I may have gotten McDonald's and messed up the challenge, but I still did it. 4.99, under 500. And I'm gonna get a home cooked meal, so no more spending.